All right, let's see if I can get this to work properly. Hi everyone. <laughs> I'm just trying to make sure that I do the all, all the things first. So I'm not ignoring you. I just have to make sure that I do what I need to do here. So let's see. <laughs> I got to turn myself down now. And somehow I have to share all this stuff and I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So I'm really hoping that somebody on the other end will um, do that for me because I don't know how to do it. So I hope that we're in the right place here. Let's see. And how do I see? Oh, there, I can actually see. Oh, so I have my, I'm at home, which is a little different. This is the first time I've done one of these at home. Usually I'm at the store, but um, we were putting up slot wall today. So I actually have my um, uh, iPad here so that I can read comments for a change. But now I can see the comments up here. So I know I'm a little bit early, but I just wanted to make sure that I could do all the things and I can't do all the things. So I'm hoping that somebody will help me out on the other end because I don't know how to do it. So that's the problem with this, um, all these, all these things that we have to do is I'm not, I'm like kind of tech savvy, but not really. So, um, let's see, share. Oh, there we go. I will share that. No, it's, that's not going to work. I don't know. I guess I'm not sharing it. If anybody from the Great Beat Extravaganza is watching it, that's, you know, that is one of our group, please share this to my page if you could and to the other page because I don't know how to do it. I tried to figure it out beforehand, but I don't know how to do all this stuff. So, all right. Well, I guess we're probably pretty close. I don't even have a watch on today or anything. So thank you everybody for joining. I think it's four o'clock, so I think we're good to go. Um, if you don't know who I am, I'm not just some crazy rambling lady. I am Kelly uh, Sutton from Kelly's Bead Boutique. Um, for three more weeks, I have a brick and mortar store in Pitt Meadows, British Columbia, Canada. And after three weeks, I'm going to be fully online only. Um, we are just moving the store to my property here. And um, we are building out our warehouse that if you look through that window right back there, <laughs> yeah, I don't think you can see it. No, nope, you can't quite see it. I have two windows there, but... Um, so we're busy doing that. So my son-in-law came over today and we put up slat wall so we can hang things just to make it a little bit easier to pick all of your orders because we get so many orders, we have to make sure it's easy to uh, take care of. So, so thanks everybody. Um, yeah, last one of the day. I'm always the last one of the day so you get the crazy lady at the end. So um, does everybody have a beverage of some sort? It's, um, I need one today. <laughs> You guys know I always have a rum and coke when I'm doing these things because, you know, I don't, I'm not usually a nervous person, but all this technology just throws me right off and I get super cuckoo. So um, a little bit of uh, rum and it's Appleton's rum, which I know isn't big in the United States of America, but it is here. Um, and a little Diet Pepsi always makes me happy. So, hey, Marianne and Debbie, all you see are trees. Yeah, that's all I get to see here. It's awesome. Um, oh, great, Nancy. Well, thank you. I hope uh, you guys are all going to really enjoy the video and or the, the, the um, demo. Good Lord. I have to engage the brain today. All right. So a few housekeeping things and then we'll kind of get started. I'm just, you know, making sure that people hop on here and uh, so they're, they're not um, really missing anything. You're doing the iced tea tonight, Vicki. That's a good one. I love I love a good iced tea. Yeah, I like mine just plain tea though, with um, nothing in it. It's maybe a lemon, but I don't like any sugar or anything in mine. Watermelon hard seltzer, mm, yum, that sounds good. A lot of watermelon things out there right now I'm noticing. It always hurts my tummy, but my dog really likes watermelon. <laughs> hey, Cookie, I love your name, it's so cute. Yolanda, you got iced tea? Well, everybody have a, have a cheers, it's a, it's a Saturday. So I'll have another little, just a small one. <laughs> Diet Coke, that works for me. I like Diet Pepsi better, but you know, if you hold a gun to my head, I will have uh, Diet Coke, you know, if that's all there is, so. <laughs> all right, so um, first thing is uh, thank you for joining us and for hanging out all day with all of the presenters. I know it's kind of weird in the summer when everybody's so busy um, doing a million things and the weather and you know, all the stuff. So thank you for taking time out of your busy weekend and your day 
to join us. We all really, really appreciate it. And I've been watching a little bit here and there in between doing the 100,000 things down at the warehouse. <laughs> and um, you guys are all so loving and so supportive and we really do appreciate it. I know we all say that, but we really do mean it. So um, can you guys hear me okay? I'm just making sure everything's hooked up. I just feel really discombobulated. I literally ran in the house like an hour ago, quickly had a shower, threw on some makeup. So you got me looking a little better than yesterday. <laughs> It was not a good scene yesterday. <laughs> okay, so do you guys like a sale or a discount? Oh, I'm sorry that you've been sick. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I hear that. Um, yeah, I'm not always feeling so great either. I'm a little swollen. I had to have some dental surgery the other day. So if I look a little weird, a little puffy, that's why. <laughs> I can't eat on that side either yet. Okay, so if you enjoy getting, um, you know, some freebies and some sales and things like that, here's a couple little things you may want to make note of. So first one is make sure, as everybody has said, that you um, uh, enter into the great big huge swag bag that Candy Cooper takes care of. Um, just, I think it's on our page, you know, again, I'm just not all caught up on all of the stuff, but somebody's probably told you how to do that. So make sure you do that because we all gave lots of really great stuff. Me personally, if you place an order uh, between now and Sunday night, uh, in the little uh, comment box, write get gift and I will be sending you a little gift of some um, extra base metal findings. Because we're moving the store, I have um, 13 years plus of stock that I've been you know, getting rid of and, and doing stuff with. And we still have a lot of base metal findings and charms and ear wires and head pins and all that kind of stuff that I'm not, I'm still carrying all that stuff, just not quite the broad spectrum that I had. So I'm giving some away. So just write get gift in your comment um, box on your order and well I said the first 25 people will get one but you know I'll just see how many I can make up so if you're right get gift you'll get a gift uh, there's also a discount coupon code this weekend it is TGBE20 and I've got it sort of handwritten on a piece of paper when I put my phone down I will have that there because again the technology is not happening this at this house this weekend so uh, you'll get 20% off of your entire order and this time for the first time only and probably the last because my staff are going to kill me, I'm giving it to you on kits too. So if you wanted to get a kit but you never get a sale on them, they're on 20% off this weekend. I don't know why I did that. I must be cuckoo. Uh, there's no discount on tools or clearance or on our large spools of leather but on everything else you can get 20 percent off so the coupon code is tgbe20 just type that in if you've got something in your cart that doesn't allow it you won't it won't work so don't put that stuff in your cart and it works um, if you don't put it in there we can't add it at after the fact we get too many orders and it's really really hard to do all the paperwork so please make sure that you um, get that figured out before you press send uh, we've got lots of stock so you'll, you're, you're fine you're gonna get what you want um, now this is called the willow kit and everybody that watches me probably knows that Willow's my grandbaby, my littlest grandbaby. She's my, the, the, I've got four granddaughters and all of, three of them were over here this morning. Um, so this is named after, after Willow. So another little giveaway is, um, I'm gonna be giving away a few other gifts. I don't know what I'm gonna do. I always do a little bag full of something like a couple kits or something like that. Um, I want you to leave a comment somewhere along the way please don't do it now because it just gets crazy but somewhere along the way just write down who is this kit named after <laughs> that's all you have to remember and if you're just coming on and going well what, what who is it go back and watch it after okay so just comment who is this kit named after and i will do some random draws and i will send you out um, a kit so please make sure if you win or it, even if that you don't win check back in a couple days because i always have lots of winners for all these different things and people don't often respond back and um, so i have lots of people that have never uh, received their gift certificates or their gifts and all kinds of things so okay also i'm pretty sure that my bestie jennifer is here uh, you probably know jennifer from the um, silver silk group she's always over there um, helping me lay out but she's um the, she's a sweetheart and she's going to be my vanna today so she's going to be typing and adding things at least that's what she said she was going to do but i haven't seen her on here yet so if you see jennifer say hi and thank you jennifer for always being such a sweetheart and for helping out so much we we love you and jennifer also has a uh, youtube channel 
You can check her out. She is Jennifer Miller. Jennifer is just with one N, so J-E-N-I-F-E-R, Miller. Um, you can check her uh, YouTube page out and she does all kinds of really um, great videos. And make sure to check out mine if you haven't watched mine before. I have hundreds of uh, videos and I'm trying really hard to try to uh, get them out as much as I can right now with all the crazy in my life. So um, that is about it, I think, as far as like the things that you kind of need to know, right? So this kit, we have lots of them. I will um, swing my camera down and we'll, um, we'll get started, okay? So now this is the part where I always have a panic attack because when I move my camera to the other position, um, <laughs> I think the last time I went live with you guys, I, um, I hit the wrong button and it went to um, the police department. It did a 911 call and um, that was really lots of fun. So if you watched a video of mine recently where it cut off, it was because it was calling 911 because I hit the wrong button. <laughs> So I'm going to grab my phone and just, you know, hope that this does not go cuckoo. So I'm sorry for the um, jiggles, but I don't have all those fancy setups. I'm hoping that I'm going to get them soon. So I'm just making sure I don't press any other buttons. So, and I'm going to turn this around and I'm being conscious of where I put this so that I don't hit that button. It's like one little button on my phone. Oh, look at that. I think I did it. All right. Is that it's a little, little crickety, but I think we'll be okay. Sorry for my arm there. All right. Let me get myself organized. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. So that is the coupon code. If you are wondering what the coupon code is this weekend, that is it. I'm just going to get my life organized here and move some things out of the way. I need a short slurp. Terry, the kit is named after my um, granddaughter, Willow. <laughs> there, I'll tell everybody again. So that's how you win. Make sure you just put down who it's named after. You know, honestly, why I do this? We need lots of engagement on these things. You need to get them out to the public. So by putting, asking you guys a question, it gets lots of engagement on the post which is really, really good for the video. So, you know, please comment lots of things, you know, love, uh, like your favorite colors and things like that for all of the presenters. It really does help us all. So I do have a nice little um, iPad over here that so I can actually read your comments for a change. So that is really a nice thing. So there's the coupon code and here is the kit. So the kit that we're working on today is the Willow kit. So I've used some six aught seed beads and some Matubo 2 aught, and I've used some Tira cast findings and some leather. And to make life easy today, we are going to use a silicone um, slider for the back. So this is the um, black with the red, and it's kind of a red and gray, it's really pretty. And I've used the black leather. And then the one I'm gonna make today is, well, you know, it's always my favorite, anything green and blue. Um, and this one is with the antique uh, brass colors. And then we've got the, this uh, pink one. Now, I just noticed I was gonna make the pink one, but I guess some of my staff made them up and um, accidentally put in black. If you got one that has black in there and you were really just saddened by it, let me know and I'll send you the right color. But I really hope that most of them went out with the right color. It'll look equally as beautiful with black on there. Um, I just wanted to have, mix things up. So if you did get the wrong color, I do apologize. When we make up these kits, we have to make up hundreds of them. It can get a little bit cuckoo. So. Those are the three colors um, and we do have lots available. So I am going to make this one today. So I have my Matubo um, two aughts and I have my six aughts. And then I've got, we always give you an extra um, head pin because you know, sometimes even for me, head pins will go kind of cuckoo. Um, we have a little charm and a lovely um, a textured ring from TierraCast and then we have couple different sizes of jump rings. We have a bigger one and then a smaller one and we give you an extra one in case your jump ring goes uh, flying or something. And then we've got all these uh, large hole, they're just a small bead, but they're a large hole bead from TRCast. And this silicone slider, we do carry these on our website and they come in two sizes. This is the larger one. This is the SOC4. Um, you really wanna make sure that you get the right one if you buy them. Um, all of these parts are available individually on the website 
um, if you do buy them you will uh, sorry if you do buy the kit you will get a barrel knot tube in there and we also are going to give you um, our le some leather this is one millimeter leather and then to make the kit today we're going to need ourselves a ruler and uh, some GS hypo or whatever kind of glue that you have and then we're going to need our four tools so I'm going to be using our bent chain nose and our cutters our round nose and our chain nose and we might need a pair of fine nose tweezers it can get a little dicey putting uh, four pieces of leather inside there and so these are awesome we sell these for only $3.99 I think I have about 20 pairs at the moment um, so these are a really great little tool if you don't have them I really recommend that all right so I made this one so long ago that I have notes because um, with everything that I've been doing lately um, it's a bit cuckoo. Oh, thank you so much about that. I like that that you like my colors. Um, did I do the red one since Willow's a redhead? No, I just did it because I had to actually look at um, what beads we had mostly in stock. Because right now with the move, I'm trying to I'm trying to whittle down the stock so we don't have to move it, and it's a little bit cuckoo uh, with <laughs> it's. You know, guys, I swear it has been absolute chaos. And without my staff helping me, I don't know what I would do because. They've just been brilliant through all of this um, insanity. So um, things are going along good. We've got three more weeks um, and then we'll be sort of clo not closing down. Uh, we're just moving. Um, so you'll still be able to order. We just won't be able to get the orders out for about a week or whatever. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our leather and I'm going to cut six inches off. So I'm going to just mark that and you can use your cutters or a pair of scissors. You guys know I never have scissors, right? Thanks, Suzanne. I love the name Willow too, and she so suits it. So she's just, she's a little monkey. Like I said, all three of them were here today, her and her two older sisters. And so what do they do? They come up, we've got, you know, acreage and they come up here and watch TV. <laughs> Typical kids, right? <laughs> all right, so then we've got, so we've got a little six inch piece and we're just gonna sort of toss that off to the side for later on. And then I'm going to take the remaining piece that we have. I think I've got my camera kind of low because I'm having a hard time working around all this. So let me just move that out of the way. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to meet up those two ends and run my fingers down just to get to the center. And then I'm going to cut that in half. It doesn't have to be, you know, exact, exact, but I want to have it fairly close. Okay, so... I'm going to take my uh, little ring here and you um, you can turn this around after the fact, but I sort of figure out which side I want. So the nice thing about Tierra Cast is that they re really go to a uh, great detail to make both sides equally as pretty. So it depends on, you know, the mood that you're in. You can, you know, turn these around any old way. So um, yeah, the pink one's pretty too, isn't it? I um, One of my girls that work for me, Tessa, she loves pink. And so she's like, you gotta do a pink one. I said, okay, I'll do a pink one. So <laughs> how much leather? You know, it's been a while since I made this. So um, I came up with this months ago. So let's see if I can figure this out. So it's 12 inches, 24, so 24, so 30 inches, I think is what we ended up doing, okay? So I'm gonna take my little ring and I'm gonna put it, or my leather through the middle of that. And then I am going to just, it doesn't really matter, you can turn it to either side, so I'm not going to worry about it. So I do wanna make sure that these are equal on either end, okay? Oh, Lydia, that sounds like heaven. All right, so I have to pay attention here to what I'm doing or I know I'm gonna make a mistake. I am going to put one of my samples out so that I see what I'm doing. All right, so you know I'm the queen of barrel knots. Are you guys tired of my barrel knots? Do you wish we were doing something else? I, I just, you know, I just find them so, um, I don't know, they're just, they're so easy to use. You can just do so many things with them. So I hope you're not sick of the barrel knot thing. But anyway, so we're gonna do three knot, barrel knots. So I'm going to take my leather and then I just place my little tube in between and I hold all of it with my hand. Now I'm gonna take this piece, um, <laughs> thanks Kim. I'm gonna take the piece at the top and pull it around to the bottom towards me. And now I'm gonna to work towards my left hand and I'm gonna wrap three times. So, and you can see, I kind of grab it with those fingers and keep it nice and taut. Oh, thank you, everybody. <laughs> and then I'm gonna take that piece that I was wrapping with and come through the back end of that tube 
And now hold on to it. That is one of the key things, is holding on to that so it doesn't fall apart. Now you're gonna pull the little tube out and then I'm gonna kind of pull that. Now I know you can't see a dang thing, but that's because I need to hold on to that so it doesn't go awry. Now I'm going to sort of squoosh that down with my fingers. Squoosh being my technical term of the day. And you can see I'm going really slow because I don't want these to get all kind of tangled up. So I go kind of nice and slow, just making sure. It's also because I'm exhausted and I can't see anything anymore. So I have to go slow, otherwise it doesn't work. Now, if you're struggling like I am, because this leather is a little bit um, crunchier, sometimes leather comes and it's crunchy. Sort of wiggle these around and it'll kind of pop into place. Now, I don't want to have this super tight on there. I want to have a little bit of movement. So make sure that you take your fingers and kind of block it like that. Just kind of push so that it doesn't get super tight on there. Okay, so that's the first thing that we're going to do. Now, to make our life a little um, bit easier, we're going to just cut the ends of the leather on a bit of an angle. And you will find that that makes this whole thing just a bit easier. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is put three of my seed beads on one side now this is very repetitious um so um i will you know do a, a few but i will be yakking a lot with you because um, i'll be able to look at um the comments i think as i'm doing this because this is pretty easy to do i have to have a drink of this i'm sorry i'm very thirsty right jennifer sometimes it's like super soft and sometimes it's kind of crunchy and this one's a little bit crunchier so Okay, so I have my three uh, seed beads on there. Now I'm gonna take one of these large hole beads, and this is where having the little points comes in handy because not all leathers are created equal. We try to make sure that our leather that we're sending out in the kits will fit. So now the key to this one, because it looks really simple, but there is a bit of a key. So I am gonna show you that in a sec here. So now I'm gonna put on a two aught. And again, this can be another part because those are big holes, but you know, they can get a little sticky. And then I'm gonna put on another one of these um, large hole beads and push this down. Okay, and you know what I don't have today? I do not have anything that even resembles a clock anywhere near me. Goodness gracious, oh, I do back there. Okay, but I'm the last one of the day, so it doesn't really matter, does it? <laughs> Oh goodness. Okay, so the key to this one is you kind of have to pull these down because the barrel knot doesn't um, make everything. You can see how it's kind of gone on a bit of an angle. So these go straight and these kind of go uh, rounded. So you want to make sure you pull this down and so that it kind of locks it in there. And I sort of force it to go in a bit of a, a curve there. You see that? Okay, so now I'm going to do um, what am I going to do? <laughs> I'm going to put on more of my beads. I thought I did a barrel knot there, but I guess I don't, <laughs> which is good because I don't have the uh, brain capacity today. <laughs> oh my goodness. So many things I'm having to do uh, with this going, you know, the, I, I don't want to say closing because everybody freaks out when I say closing, but there's just so much going on. And, um, so one of the things you might want to do is make sure you check out my my shop and um, go to the What's New page because I have a young girl, Tessa, that works for me. And um, she's the reason I did pink on here because she loves pink. And um, she is so good at taking pictures. So she's been taking a ton of new pictures and most of them are on the What's New pages and uh, you would not believe how much better things look. So we've um, changed our shopping cart, so it's a little bit easier. Um, we've got new pictures, we've, um, we're streamlining things, so it, you should have a little bit nicer shopping experience. And we're doing a whole pile of things along the way, so that's what we've got so far. You will probably see one side a little bit straight and a little bit um, you know, bowed out on the other. Don't worry about it so much, you know, like nobody ever looks at your jewelry and goes, oh, look at that, one side's straight and one side's a little bit rounded. At least I never would. So, you know, I wouldn't worry about it if it does go kind of something that you're not really, you know, if you're thinking, oh, it should be exactly rounded on one side. Yeah, don't worry about it. I think we get, at least I'm a perfectionist and I get so worried about things not being perfect. But um, I'm having to give that up a little bit 
So, oh, did you notice the new pictures? Thank you. Oh, and I'm really trying to work on the descriptions. I actually took a little class. <laughs> I don't know how I had that time to do that on how to write better descriptions. So we're writing um, descriptions on our semi-precious about their properties and all that kind of stuff because a lot of people want to know. That's one of the questions we get asked all the time in the stores. Like, well, what is good for your heart chakra and all that kind of stuff. So we're doing all those sorts of things to make it a little bit better shopping experience for you. And I never realized that when I started that website years and years and years ago that you had to do all those things. I just hucked on pictures and prices. And now trying to go back to 9,000 items. That's literally how many items I have available on my website. It's crazy. So I'm having to go backwards. Okay, so speaking of going backwards, I'm just going in here and kind of moving these beads down so that we end up with a little bit more of a round look. So there we go. So that's sort of what we've got happening so far. And then now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a barrel knot at the end of this. So now you can see that I've still got my ends pretty much the same length, but I'm gonna choose the one on the top here because that is the longer one. And now I am going to do a barrel knot. So again, go around three times. And this is just gonna lock all of that in. And it's funny, some of the beads really um, will round out and some will flatten out. So everything's different and a lot of it depends on the strength of your hands and the leather and I think the weather of the day and how you're feeling and all those things. So again, just, just don't stress out when things aren't going exactly like you thought they were supposed to. Like I normally would have freaked out going, oh my gosh, this isn't turning out exactly like my sample, but it, you know, that's life, right? So thank you, Lois. Um, yes, Kimberly, thank you. I have to constantly, um, you know, educate myself on how to do things. I, I just don't have a lot of time, but I do try. So that's one side. Look at how cute that bracelet is. I love this. You know, if I do say so myself. <laughs> I guess if I said I hate my stuff, that would really suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> So we do give you one extra of these just in case your cat grabs it and it goes flying. So you're only going to use six. But um, so I wasn't going to say anything about this, but I have to because I think it's kind of funny. So and my husband's made the biggest joke of it. But somebody just said uh, the bracelet's named after my cutie pie granddaughter. Well, my cutie pie granddaughter has, what is it called? F hoof, foot and mouth disease. <laughs> So I think it's running rampant here with all the toddlers. Both of my littlest granddaughters have had it. <laughs> oh my goodness. So she didn't get a kiss from Nanny or Papa today. <laughs> all right. So I've gone uh, the same on the other side. I've taken my um, piece of leather and I folded it in half and um, I'm going to do a barrel knot here. So yeah, apparently it's super contagious. I'm like, well, that just sounds like a disgusting thing. But she just had one little sore on her on her mouth, poor little thing, but she's not bothered by it at all. So I did three barrel knots there or three wraps. And I'm going to go in the back end, come out the tube, pull that tube off. And then I'm still holding on to it. And then, then I'm going to sort of push it back towards my uh, fingers here. So if you guys watched my um, video, oh gosh, when was it? A couple weeks ago, I was talking about how badly butchered my nails got at a nail salon. So I kind of cleaned them up a little bit today, but you can still see all these horrible ridges. Oh my goodness. They look like something the cat dragged in, but <laughs> it's awful. Right, Tammy? Yeah, apparently it's um, it's really running rampant with kids right now. I don't know what... I haven't heard about it for years and all of a sudden it's kind of everywhere. Like I said, first Grace had it, my other little granddaughter. And then um, my daughter said, oh, Willow's got it. I'm like, oh, fabulous. She's not coming over. <laughs> okay, so now I've cut those two to a nice point just to make life easier. Yeah, it's actually, it is actually a disease. Like, you know, people talk about it um, all the time, but it is no joke. It is not a good thing to get. Willow got lucky and Grace got lucky. They didn't get it super bad, but um, I guess it's pretty contagious contagious, and not, not a fun thing to, to get. That's for sure. So she wasn't too bothered today. She just wanted to come and watch TV, the little monkey. They don't watch TV at their house, so she likes to watch TV when she comes to Nanny and Papa's. Okay, so we're gonna start off by getting our beads kind of pushed down there. And then we're gonna put on one of our uh, large hole beads. 
and then our two aught. Am I centered enough there? It's hard to tell with all these comments and everything. Oh, your daughter got it at camp. Yeah, I guess it's just a thing, right? So it's very different doing a live from a, when I do my recorded YouTube videos. <laughs> Thank you, Anne. <laughs> I do try, you know, but because I am a perfectionist, man, it's, it's, a t it's tough being a perfectionist. It really is. Yeah. Okay. So there's the, the first one. So I'm just making like little sections. Now, if you have a really tiny wrist, like some people might have a small wrist, you could stop it at here or you could, you know, like just do two or whatever. So uh, whatever works. So you're, you're going to kind of have to play with it a little bit when you're creating these for yourself. But the nice thing about having the sliding, um, the silicone, um, slider or whatever we're calling that thing um yeah silicone slider i think is what i called it um it is nice in that you can adjust it so it, it will fit so this should fit just about everybody i would think uh, there, it's plenty big enough if you've got a big wrist if you've got a really tiny tiny little wrist you may have to adjust a little bit but um gosh it looks like so many people have been getting that oh my goodness all these little kids yeah, um, uh, my daughter said it's just, you know, horrible at, at daycare. And I think that's where my other granddaughter got it from, too. So um, it's just one of those, it's one of those things, right? Kids pick up everything. I, I swear, every time I go over to my daughter's house, one of the kids, because they've got three uh, kids, and I swear one of them, they've got two teenagers, and and then they've got the toddler. And I swear that there's always somebody with a snotty nose or something or a cranky attitude, but <laughs> that's just because they're toddlers and teenagers, right? And all three girls, my poor, my poor um, son-in-law. <laughs> He's surrounded by girls. I know he loves them, but <laughs> it's a lot. I was just looking to see if I've made a mistake while I was gabbing, but no, I haven't. So you can see there's, you're going to have extras of everything. We always give you enough to complete your kits and I hope that if you guys buy kits from us, you're happy with them. Um, we do try really hard on our kits to make them kind of fun and a good value. So, we're, and I'm hoping to do more when I get settled here a little bit, because I haven't had time to be creative in the last few months with all this. This has been a huge, huge, huge undertaking. You have all grandsons. I've got all granddaughters. <laughs> My, I know my my son and his wife are trying desperately to have a baby, but um, it's not working, unfortunately. Uh, so they would love to have another one, uh, but it's just not in the cards right now. So it's kind of frustrating for for them. So there's the other half. Okay, so now I'm going to lock this in by doing uh, barrel knots. So I look for my longer one, which is this one up top here, and I'm going to take my little barrel knot tube, and I'm going to. I just kind of take the top one here and then I go behind and bring it around three times and work towards my left hand and then hold on to that. Always hold on. We had a lady in the store the other day and she said she was struggling with her barrel knots, but she didn't realize she had to hold on to them. So that really does make a difference. And then just kind of gently push those down because it's going to be up a little bit. And so you, you don't want it to kind of go all over the place. You just have one grandchild. Aren't they the best though? Gosh, I love them. Yeah, I like them because they get to go home. I don't want them here all the time. Good Lord. <laughs> okay, so that's what we've got happening so far. Okay, so, oh, I need a stretch and I need a, I need a little sippy sip here. So, you know, this is a good jumping off point to do all, all kinds of things. That's what I liked about this bracelet. And then I thought, you know what? I need to embellish a little bit more. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this little um, piece of, uh, we took six inches of leather right here, and I am going to just make a little dangle with it. So I'm going to take this and pop it through. Now this is where you're going to want to decide, do I want it on this side or do I want it on that side? So I'm going to have mine on, with this side showing up. Rum? Yes, it is rum, Lois. <laughs> you know me well enough. <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. I'm really glad that you like the barrel knots. They are kind of fun. They're kind of my thing. Okay, so I'm taking that little six inch piece that we cut off at the beginning and I'm just going to, you know, pull back 
maybe an inch, not very much. We need a little bit of length to create a barrel knot. If I was to do this equal, you know, like this, it's not gonna work. So pull it back to about an inch or so. And then you're gonna take your barrel knot tube and you're gonna place that in there. And I'm gonna just create another barrel knot wrap, which you know, this one's a little bit more complicated. So you can go two or three. I think I'm gonna go three. I don't know how many I did on my samples. Two or three. Now you can see there's not a lot to go in there, but you can get it in. You just have to hold your tongue the right way. And as I always say, you're the boss. So pull that out. And again, I know my fingers are in the way. So what I'm gonna do is pull that up, but it is hard because there's not a lot to pull on. So you sort of have to, you know, just gently push it in the way you want it to go. Just gonna kind of jiggle this around a little bit. I just don't have any um, nails to push against. My nails, because they destroyed them, they buckle, so I can't even push against it, which I'm so used to doing with uh, creating jewelry, is using my nails for a lot, but they destroyed them. Okay, so there we have our little embellishment. Now, this is up to you how long you wanna leave this. Um, you wanna make sure that that knot is really tight, and we will put some glue on it after, but, um, you want to cut this to whatever length you want. So you can leave it really long and dangly, but I kind of find about a half an inch is, is nice. Um, let me just clean up some of this stuff here. So we're just going to have like a little dangle on there. And then we are going to take one of our um, jump rings, or sorry, our, our head pins, and I'm going to take one of my extra seed beads and I'm just going to pop that on. And I'm going to create just a little simple wrap loop. Now, normally I use, you know, like the, you know, how I always make a wrap loop with my, oh, maybe I better do it so you guys know what I'm doing. <laughs> I shouldn't try and um, cheat, should I? All right, so I'm going to take my um, uh, chain nose pliers and I'm going to place it right on top. And then I'm just going to bend away. And I'm going to take my round nose pliers and I'm going to come in on top of that and then go up and over and down. And then I'm going to open that up, rotate, and then just kind of pull that back. Then now I'm going to take my chain nose pliers and go over that loop. And then I'm going to have to take these because I have no uh, ability with my hands right now. And I'm just going to wrap that up a couple times. So you can stop there. That just broke. Um, and you can just do that or you can wrap it back up and make a messy wrap, whatever you want to do. Sometimes I, you know, make a bit of a messier wrap, but on this one, I'm just going to cut it. I think on most of my samples, I made a messy wrap. So all I do is just, um, don't create a neck and then I just, um, have a bulkier thing. So what, if you watch some of my other YouTube videos, you'll see that I make a bulkier wrap most of the time. Um, but I forgot that I did that on this. So it doesn't really matter because this is just a little embellishment. So I'm just trying to get that little burr out of the way. And that's what we're creating. It's just a little, little dangle. So now I'm gonna take my larger of the two jump rings. So this one's a six millimeter, 18 gauge, and we need that to go over the ring. So I take one pair of pliers on one side and my bent chain nose, and I open that up. And I'm just gonna place it on one side of the ring here, on the other side of my little embellishment. Now I'm gonna take one of the smaller jump rings and these are a four millimeter 18 gauge and these are probably the ones that I use the most. I'm going to open that up, place it through there and then I'm going to, actually what am I going to do here? How did I do that? <laughs> I have to look and go, what did I do? Isn't that crazy? Oh my goodness. Okay, no, let's rewind that. I forgot to put this on. I knew there was something I wasn't doing right. So see, I make mistakes all the time. All right, let's open that up. You can just open it up and leave it on there. And I'm just going to place on this little tag. <laughs> and then do that up. There we go. I knew there was a step I was missing. Okay, and then now we are going to take our little embellishment. So I've just got that little jump ring. And I'm going to go through this larger jump ring. And then it's just going to kind of dangle in front of our little... Um, little charm there. So see how that just kind of dangles there. So then, then that's going to kind of come down here. And then now you can assess this and kind of look at it and go, okay, do I need to cut that shorter or longer? It is completely up to you and whatever your comfort level is. 
Um, so, um, you know, whatever works. Okay, I just need another little sip here. My throat gets so dry doing all this gabbing. So let me just move some of these tools so that you can see what I'm about to do now. Okay, so this is probably the more challenging part of this demonstration, but it's easy to do. You just have to have the right tools. Um, oh, Kimberly. Okay, so what do I have on my arm? So this one here, I have available still in um, on my website. Please don't ask me what it is called. Vanna, can you look it up? <laughs> <laughs> um, it is some sort of a pearl thing I can't remember but it's it's a I love this bracelet and I was always so surprised that it hasn't been on our you know like what I like to call the top 40 of all of our um, kits because it is literally my favorite bracelet to wear I wear it with everything because it looks really cute stacked together and it's kind of an interesting way that I put the pearls in there so that one is still available this one I have never done a tutorial on because it uses a lot of beads but I think I can figure it out on how to do it so I am going to come up with this one in the next little bit because I get asked every single time I wear this and again this is another one of my favorites and I think they look kind of cute together I feel very Candy Cooper uh, wearing some um, stacked because she's you know she's got the cool thing down um, pat I don't have the cool thing I've got the um, old grandma thing down pat. <laughs> so I don't know I think they kind of look cute together so this one will be a um, I probably should do this one floating pearls thank you thank you very much um, this one is coming up I should actually do that soon shouldn't I because it's kind of a summery bracelet although I did this one in kind of fall sort of tones so watch for that one okay uh, nope, this is not similar to my Blossom bracelet at all. This one is not. I'm not going to give it away, but this is really cute. So there you go. Something to look forward to. And I get asked that every time I wear it. And every time I wear it, I say, I'm going to make it. And then I never do. <laughs> but I will. I, I, I will. I promise. Okay, so I'm going to take two ends of my leather and put them through my um, little sliding silicone thing. And then I just kind of grab it and turn it around because I always like to work from my right because I'm right-handed. Now this is where, you know, it can be a little challenging. So what I like to do is kind of take it and pull it off to the side and isolate it so I've got enough room in there. And then if you get, you know, things right, sometimes you can get that, oh my gosh, look at how lucky I got. And that's coming out the end. If your leather does not go in there, well, all you need to do is take your pair of tweezers like this, grab hold of that leather as best you can, and literally shove them up inside like I can take these and go right up inside like that that will help push the um, other pieces of leather because sometimes I get really lucky and I can get them to go up there but I find by taking this and sort of pulling it down and then um, make sure you've got those cut edges that should go in there nice and easily but now see that I've done that it's not going to go in because I don't know if you can tell but see how that buckled down so I'm going to go way down there, remove those, because we've got lots of leather here. And I find if they're sort of closer together, it does help too. So, but those little um, tweezers are really a godsend. Isn't that funny? It worked perfectly the first time. And then because I got all, you know, oh, I got to show them how to do it, it's not going to work. So I got one through, no problem. My other one, I'm just going to take and put in between my tweezers just make sure you run right to the end like that now make sure you've got your fingers out of the way because those tweezers are really pokey so we're gonna just go like that and then <laughs> okay I need to grab the end of that somehow right <laughs> oh goodness gracious live is always fun see when I do my um, YouTube videos you guys never see these goof ups because um, there we go <laughs> because I edit them out <laughs> okay so now it just looks like a big mess of, of leather and all that stuff so we're gonna make some sense of it there we go okay <laughs> I need a nap does anybody else need a nap I'm tired <laughs> okay so this is what we've got happening so I want to make sure that I've got my leather kind of straightened out so I've pulled these two to the top and these two to the bottom 
and it just looks like a big circle. So now what I want to do is I need to be able to get this over my hand. So you can see if I leave it big like this, that's huge. So I am going to get this approximately the size I need it to get over my hand. Thank you, Mary. I am trying very hard. I'm very, very tired. Um, the dental surgery really knocked me out this week on top of everything else. Oh, and I'm going to ask something and I'm going to try and do this without crying because I cry all the time when I ask you guys. This has been a very hard week for me. Very, very tough week. Um, my mom, for the second time, just got diagnosed with breast cancer. See, I can't do it without crying. Um, exactly 14 years to the day that she had breast cancer before she got diagnosed with breast cancer in her other remaining breast. My mom's 85 years old and as fit as a fiddle and can run circles around most of us combined. But unfortunately, cancer loves her and this is her fourth, I think, both bout of cancer. So for all the people out there that believe in a higher power, whatever it is, could you please put, you know, a good word in for my mom, her name's Bonnie, and please say a prayer for my mom that this is gonna be okay. They think they caught it early. She goes and sees the surgeon on Friday. Um, but I'm very worried and cancer has just been a tough thing in our family and um, she's, she's it. That's all I've got is my mom. And so please say something good about my mom to the person that you speak to. <laughs> Whoever that is, please um, just put in a good word for my mom. I just, uh, and I thank you very much in advance for, for doing that for her because um, I'm just very nervous and very worried about her. So anyways, I have to get stop sniffling here. I've got to wipe my eyes so I don't look all funny when I go back on camera. So there we go. I knew I wanted to say that at some point because I've got a good audience of people and I know that a lot of you are believers and um, that you will put in a good word for mom. Okay, so now that I got that out of the way, I want to make this big enough to fit over my hand. So I want it to be comfortable because I don't want this to be um, too loose. So I'm going to sort of tighten that up on my hand. And so I just need it to go over top of my wrist. Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. I'm sorry if it's like that brought everybody down. But um, I figure, uh, you know, with the audience that I have, I need um, everybody to just be really um, kind and, and help me out a little bit. Okay, so what did I do here? I think I changed this up on a couple of them. You can see on one I um, did some little embellishments and others I didn't. So the way that I'm going to deal with this is I need it to be this big to fit on my wrist, right? Because what you're going to do is you're going to tighten it up to, um, to wear it. So right about here is where I'm going to put a barrel knot on either side. So I don't want to um, monkey around with this because I don't want this to go any tighter or any looser. So I'm going to be very mindful that I'm keeping this right where I want it but I'm gonna carefully just create a little barrel knot over here. And you can see you've got lots of leather to do that. Sorry, I've got the sniffles now because I was tearing up and I didn't think I would, but I think this uh, really hit me hard this week <laughs> with all the stuff that's been going on. It's just, it was kind of like, oh gosh, really? We have to have that now too, thank you. You know, <laughs> just too much. Okay, so being mindful that I'm not moving that, I'm putting my barrel knot so I'm just doing a barrel knot over top of both pieces of leather because I want to tighten that up so that um, when you have this on, it's not going to move around, okay? Excuse me for my sniffles. Yes, beaters are, are good prayer warriors, so I do appreciate that. Um, you know that I've, I've often said I don't really have um, much of a belief system myself. It's just not who I am. But I do believe in, um, I'm a very spiritual person, and I do believe in putting good out into the world. And I do believe in putting um, some good positive energy and um, in whatever form that is. And I know that a lot of you are believers. And so um, I, you know, I feel like that would be a good thing to put that kind of good positive energy out into the world for my mom. So yeah all right so i'm just doing one on either side there sorry i get so sidetracked when i start thinking about it it's like i can't believe it it was literally 14 years to the day it was um today yeah today was 14 years ago that she had her surgery it's like oh my gosh and she you know she she did really well but she's now going to be 85 and she didn't have to do this anymore right us women we get uh sometimes we get the 
lousy end of the stick when it comes to these things so okay so all I've done is I've done a barrel knot on either side so now when I put it on it'll it fits over my wrist or sorry my hand because you need it to go the widest point of your hand and then when I put it on it will tighten up so you can see there's not a lot of room on either side so if you have a really tiny wrist you may have to um, go backwards and not maybe put on these end things or or you can you can change the pattern up however you want right you can um, you can adjust the pattern if you want to um, move things around it's it's completely customizable okay now uh, on you can see like on this one here I didn't embellish I just if you want to keep it simple you don't have to embellish but I think it looks a little cuter and you'll have extras here so what we're going to do is pop on a how am I doing for time oh I got 15 minutes I got lots of time I thought I'd be done this thing in 10 minutes but <laughs> that's you know not so good I'm always yakking so I'm just going to go twice it doesn't need three on the ends it looks kind of funny when you do three it sort of sticks out like a little nub so I'm just doing two and I'm going to go right up next to that other knot okay so there we go and then I'm going to put another one on and again this is your piece so if you want to embellishment embellishment <laughs> if you want to embellish it in a different way feel free play around you know um, I really just want to use I want you to use my designs as a jumping off point and I get a lot of um, emails and um, private messages on Facebook with uh, things that people have created where they've taken my design and they've you know gone with it and uh, they've made something that looks similar but it's a little different and I love that I love to see um, I, I mean I don't care if people just want to completely copy because I get it it's not always easy to come up with ideas but it's kind of fun when somebody says hey I had your idea and I took it and I did this to it and it sometimes looks really cute so now I'm just repeating that on the opposite side I'm kind of trying to go a little on the lickety split side here or you know trying to finish this up so that we can wrap things up here because there's a couple more things to do but again I'm the, I'm the last presenter of the day so I can take however long I want right <laughs> and I always almost always go over <laughs> I think everybody's used to that okay so make sure those are nice and snug so this is what we've got so far for our embellishment so now I'm just going to come in and I am going to trim those off and make sure they're the knots are nice and tight before you start trimming those okay because the last thing you want is for that to all come apart all right so clean up some of that mess now I'm not going to really do it on camera too much uh, I'll just kind of show you where I do it because I can never get this pin back in but so what we're going to do is take our uh, GS hypo actually I will you know what I'm going to put I'll put a little bit put a little bit there and a little bit there a little bit on the ends so I'll probably do a little more after and that's pretty much it you can put a little dab here on the little um, embellishment down here and then that's about it and I'm just gonna put this off to the side because I know I will not get that back in on camera so let me just kind of clean this off here so that's what we made today our fun little willow bracelet so now you can see when I go to put it on I will just go like this and then I just grab two of them with one and two of them with the other and then just you know wear it like that so <laughs> it's actually meant to wear the wear the other way but I almost always put it on backwards so let me try that again so you got to put it this way because I want this to be at the top so go like that <laughs> and it'll go the right way <laughs> and then you can pull these I just make great jewelry I don't wear it all the time and of course that's flipped around because I'm trying to do things you know live and nothing ever works right when you're live but I hardly ever put anything on when I'm doing these because it's hard to get everything to lay straight and there we go that's what it kind of looks like it's hard to see on there so that is the green and blue one and here is our red and black one and then we've got the um, the gray and pink one so make sure I've got those the right way 
you know they're always different and I always end up putting this little thing on either side it doesn't really really matter so all right I'm going to get back my other other little thing so I can switch you back up so we can chat a little bit more but I wanted to show you if you have not seen my video from um, this last week on YouTube I did a really cute bracelet that I'm in love with and this one I called Angela after one of our customers who I quite li like um, so I used uh, five millimeter leather and then I added these little ribbon ends and I did a um, barrel knot leather clasp and then added some embellishments and this one is with the new leather that we just got in this is uh, called rustic brown look at the color of that it's black and brown and it's so cool and what I like about this is the combination of, of textures and colors and I think this one turned out really, really cute. So this one is available on, on the website. It's called Angela. And this one is available called Willow. Okay, so there's a couple of the bracelets. So let me see if I can get you back up to the thing here without um, calling the police again. <laughs> Only I would do that, right? Let's see. Don't hit the wrong button, Kelly. So I'm gonna jiggle jiggle for a sec. All right, and turn you around, and I have to unhook things, and okay. Look at that, I did it, I think. Oh, miracle. All right, I'm still sniffling. I apologize for that, but you know, that's what happens when you get emotional about your mom. <laughs> okay, so yeah, isn't that leather pretty? I just loved it. I, I literally created this bracelet because I loved that leather, and I thought we need to have that leather shine so i have this available in um 10 millimeter and in five millimeter and you could get your 20 percent off today um, until tomorrow night at midnight um, use the code tgbe20 and save 20 percent off your order and you can get a free gift if you put get gift in the comment section um, the first 25 people that order are going to get um, a little gift of some just some findings and beads and things like um, all break all base metals um, just a little bag full of uh, a treat for you um, make sure that you leave a comment in the um, comment section about who is my bracelet named after um, and uh, you'll go into a draw for a couple of free gifts and make sure to check back um, somewhere along the way during the week on our um, my uh, Kelly's Bead Boutique page because I will list the winners because sometimes I don't know who you are um, and I can't get hold of you. And the last time there was uh, two people that didn't get their gifts because I couldn't they didn't answer their emails. So I always hate that. I want people to get their, their goodies. And make sure to um, join in on the huge giveaway from the TGBE group. So, cause that, that's a really good gift. I want it. <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me today, everybody. And thank you, uh, Vanna, also known as Jennifer, um, <laughs> for helping out and, and doing all the uh, pinning of things. I really do appreciate all your help there. And I'm sure everybody else does. If you have any questions that weren't answered, um, just have a look at what uh, Vanna was doing there. <laughs> I love having a Vanna. It's made life so much easier, right? So I hope you guys have enjoyed yourself today. Who's been your um, your favorite so far? Has there been one one person that's really just done a killer demo where you're like, oh my gosh, I cannot wait to get that one done? Because that's what I always like, you know, watching all of them and then going, oh, I've got to do that. Like, I would really love to um, do Christie's um, Swelligant um, painting stuff. That's my kind of thing where you just get to play and create um, something really unique. So um, I hope you guys have really enjoyed watching everybody. Well, hey, Catherine. Nice to see you on here. All right. Well, what hell are we doing for time? Oh, I got to look behind. It's almost five o'clock can't oh what sorry i was the comments are flying by so fast i'm trying to uh to watch them all and see what everybody's saying but anyway i want to thank you so much for your kindness with uh, my mom and for sending out some prayers for her um i want to thank you for always joining in on uh, me uh, with me and everybody else um, this is a really great group of people and we're really blessed to have so many um fabulous customers and viewers and um, we really do appreciate each and every one of you so 
Um, go off and have a fabulous night. Um, you know, get some creative uh, stuff going in your brain. And, um, and then I think first thing in the morning, we have um, Abby Berta on from thebeadplace.net. And I, I think she's doing um, a torching thing to, uh, tomorrow. She's, she's actually busting out the torch, which she's really, really brave to do that. I've always wanted to do that. Um, but because um, I'm, I'm a torturer, I love doing that. But I've always been afraid to do it on camera. So um, go watch Abby first thing in the morning and it'll be a really cool cool night so I'll keep you guys posted uh, with the move from the store um, we got lots of things going on in the next few weeks and I'll try to keep you um, uh, up to speed on what's going on and uh, everything should be you know back to normal or so I think in maybe a month so all right so thanks again and I love you guys you're the best and uh, have a fabulous night and we'll see you soon okay take care everybody bye bye